Rachel Oiga and I am a mother to a three-year-old baby girl. Currently, I work as a radio resident in a public hospital and that means we are in charge of the imaging of a certain patient from x-rays, ultrasounds, CT scans, and MRIs. Uh, during the ECQ, not much has changed in terms of that we still go on duties and we still uh, handle patients. As a second year, I am mostly in charge of the ultrasound modality, which means I have close patient interaction. So it really doesn't matter if it's a clean patient, as we call it, or a COVID suspect patient. We still have to do the ultrasound nonetheless. So when it comes to doing an ultrasound for a COVID patient, we just make sure that we use proper PPE or the personal protective equipment so that we can protect ourselves. My fear mostly is that I might bring home the virus because I still come home after duties and I spend time with my husband and my daughter and it scares me that they're here safe at home but because of the job that I do and because of the exposure that I might get that they can get the virus as well. As for sacrifices, I think the major one would be time. If I happen to be on duty for a certain holiday or a certain family birthday or event, then that's something I would have to sacrifice. Given all the sacrifices and the fears that come with the job, I still continue to do it because this is my calling and it is one way to help people. And I also want to be a good role model to my to my daughter and show her that in times of a crisis people will still be willing to help and people will still be doing their duties and that you can always depend on someone and I want my daughter to feel that way towards her mother someone who she can depend on on whatever and whenever.